The government is being accused of North Island favouritism after the decision to pull the pin on Kiwi Rail's new inter-island ferry project. Since the decision in December, residents of Picton say they've been in limbo and struggling. Alexa Cook reports. An iconic sight, the Inter-Islander cruising through Queen Charlotte Sound. But the scrapping of the new mega ferries is hurting this community. Picton needs to know what's going on. It needs to know what is going to happen. It does feel at the moment that the government is a little bit North Island centric. It's left a town full of cones and closed roads. It's been huge, you know. Um, a lot of businesses suffered from it, from you know high end right to the low end, and everyone in between. We should never have got to the position that we're in now. In 2021, Kiwi Rail signed a contract with Hyundai to provide two new, larger, greener ships, requiring major upgrades to Picton's terminal. The budget ballooned from $775 million to $3 billion, which is still less than a multi-billion dollar tunnel under Wellington. But the government declined Kiwi Rail's request for more money. So this has all been a huge waste of money. Yes, and very disappointing. When are we going to get an answer over what the solution is for this? Well, that's kind of in Hyundai's hands. Well, Hyundai and uh, Kiwi Rail and, and the negotiations. He's hoping for three smaller ferries instead. The Inter-Islander has been operating a ferry between Picton and Wellington since 1962. And although a tunnel between the two islands has been joked about, this is still the most cost-effective and realistic solution, which is why its future is so important. Although there have been several infamous breakdowns. This is the state highway, uh, this is people's lives, we need it to be safe and resilient for the future. And this is an area that relies so heavily on it, so it's a shame. I think it's silly that they've wasted so much money on reorganising the roads. The town now has more questions than answers. What does Plan B look like and will it be factoring in for growth or is it just a replacement of the status quo? Urging the government to hurry up and decide. Alexa Cook, News Hub.